Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcons RC and I got another video again before the remaining uh, basically guys I have enough time already to put the landing gear doors on it and finish the bottom of the plane and I wanted to share this with you because this is a easy way to do the to do the landing gear doors you know and without having to use servos on it uh, let me show you right here these are the front landing gear door right here are open right now as you can see it's tilted to one side because I have more pressure on, more pressure I mean on one door than the other one but I'm gonna fix that and you see the bottom ones over there they're actually clear plastic so it's hard for you to see them but let me show you the nose gear right here it goes up it closes up and put it down and let me show you the main doors right here you can see them right there it clicks up and they close uh, now let me flip the aircraft uh, over so you can see how this works guys okay my friends uh, this is a very simple setup really uh, it's all rubber bands uh, let me go ahead and show you the front landing gear doors right here first uh, open it. and as you can see basically I hand the, the gear door and then open it basically on the position the position I wanted it to be and glue a piece of rubber band from the fuselage into this right now it looks pretty rough but uh, basically on the finished details I'm gonna stick the rubber bands into the fuselage so all you're gonna see is gonna be probably about an inch or so of rubber band and I'm going to get some rubber band of the same color I'm going to paint the plane and you see the, the, this size the same way you see glue to the aircraft and to the gear door basically to keep the pressure so that this pressure is actually what keeps them open uh, as you can see again you see that this one has more pressure on it but again I'm gonna fix that and inside same thing another rubber band see inside the doors let me open it Run. rubber band right here from this edge to the other edge and this one is what makes the door close uh, of course you know it's bigger and it travels longer so it put more pressure on it so it makes the doors close uh, you're gonna see that the straw, this thing right here actually hits it and makes them close let me see if I can show them right here you see how you see that hits, hits the landing gear and makes it close Let's show you over here again see the, the the rod hits the landing gear and close the door now let me show you these ones over here right now uh, I'm actually holding this one so it's just tape so they are a little bit hard to keep on place whenever it's, this plane is like this you know it's upside down you see they hand to one side or the other actually more to that side but this one is the same concept uh, let me close them uh, this one actually you see the piece of rubber band right there I put a little hole into on, on it and it's push the rubber band through the hole and glue it on the inside of the door same thing on this side and then I just put a wire here see the shape of that wire right there glue to the plastic door and have like a U shape so the landing gear cuts that wire going down and it pushes the door down and whenever the landing gear is open the, you know, the rubber band you know a, a spring back out and open it let me see if I can do this upside down it's probably gonna be hard to do it with one hand anyway so right there guys and we hit this right here and you're gonna see the the hooks being cut but see the hook gets cut and when I release the landing gears the of course the tension from the rubber band is gonna spring the doors out see that spring the doors out and again that stupid tape right there is just not holding right I think that should be enough clearance maybe maybe not probably not Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> it goes to that side. But anyway, guys, uh, it, as you notice, it, it's actually a very easy, simple thing to do, a very easy to do with cheap stuff, you know, that you have around your house, and you don't have to worry about an extra servo there for for the landing gear doors or a sequencer or anything. You know, you know when the plane is upside down, you see that they're, they're just hand there by gravity, so you don't have to worry about that. Too much. And they go up and down. Let's see if I can another view over here see the wire hitting the wire right there see it hits the wire and closes the door and that's actually the plastic I'm gonna leave as a landing gear door I'm just gonna paint it so anyway guys I just wanted to share this with you and hopefully it's gonna help you you know so thank you for watching guys uh, we're gonna get this thing on the air pretty soon so see you next fly